Hey guys, it's me Minori and my friend Hello Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so guys, today I want to do something a little bit different. So today I have... Ta-da! Oops. Sorry, Hello Kitty. Ta-da! Two gacha machines. So if you guys don't know, this is called a gacha machine. Every few months I go to the gacha store and I know you guys love it a lot. So I decided to get two gacha machines. I mean, it's just a toy, but it actually works. Let me try one. I actually haven't used it yet. So this is the coin that I'm gonna use. So you put it in right here, I think. And... <laughs> Can you hear that? Every single capsule has something inside. Let me put it back. So, in each capsule, there's a gacha character inside. Do you guys know like gacha club or gacha life? To be honest, I've never played it before, but I find it really interesting. But basically, I asked you guys to send me your gacha characters. Shout out to everyone who sent me your characters. Love you guys. So, in each capsule, there's a gacha character inside, and whatever character that comes out, I'm going to redraw it in my style. So basically, I'm going to be redrawing your original characters, but with a little bit of twist. I don't know how many I'm going to draw today, but I have a full set of new markers, and I'm just like ready to draw. So yeah, I think that's it guys. Gacha machines choose what gacha characters to draw. Let's get started. Okay, so first off, let's choose a gacha character. I literally have no clue what's inside, so it's going to be completely random. So this is my lucky coin, and let's see what character we're going to get. So I'm going to put it right here, and twist. Here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. So here's our first capsule. Let's see what's inside. So here we have... Oh, she's cute! This gotcha character. I love how she has like different colored eyes. Oh, she has pigtails. I see. Let's start with her. And this is our first character. I also asked you guys to give me a little bit of background information for each character. And I tried to take notes. This girl, she is 16 years old and her name is Minto. She's a girl and she likes mushrooms. Interesting. Okay, let's see what I can do. What to draw. I mean, I know what I'm going to draw, but like the pose and everything, maybe I could draw her like sitting down. I don't know, something like this. And now let's draw in the details. And finally, onto the face. Again, it's going to be completely my style. And she has this flower inside her eyes. Hmm, something like this. Okay, I think I'm happy. And now let's move on to the line art. But before that, let me quickly clean my desk. By the way, I got this from a subscriber and I've been using it ever since. I love this vacuum cleaner. And as usual, I'm going to use my tablet for the outline. I like to use a tablet to do the outline because it's so easy to like check the anatomy. You can easily just like move it around. You can copy and paste, make it smaller, bigger, and I think it's looking good. So now I'm going to lock the image and change the color of the line to blue. And I'm just gonna go over it and do the outline. It takes a while to do the outline, so I like to like listen to music or like watch some movies on the side. What to watch today? I think I'm just gonna watch like random YouTubers. Hmm, I think I'm almost done. Just a few places to fix up and like smooth out the line. I'm also gonna add like these shadows on the corners. These parts make like a really big difference. I think I like it. And lastly, I'm going to change the color of the lines. What color should I make it? Hmm, should I just go for like brown? Or like gray? Yeah, I think I like it. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and print it onto this paper. BRB guys. And it looks something like this. Can you guys see it? I mean, I made the lines really light on purpose, so I know it's kind of hard to see. Is the camera picking it up? So, this is the original character in here. Ta-da! Here I have some new markers! 
They feel so nice. I just love looking at them. Anyways, what colors do I need? I think I'm gonna go with the toner gray for her hair and some green. I think I'm gonna go with G21 and G20. Oh, and I wanna try something new today. Today, I wanna try using some watercolors. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I love this palette. But I never really use watercolors, so I just wanna try it out today. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. Okay, so I think we're ready. Let's start coloring. I want to try making her skin color using watercolor. A little bit of these colors. Wow, that is definitely not it. A little bit of white, a tiny bit of blue, and maybe a little bit of red. Looking good. And I think I'm going to start from her skin. Okay, not bad. By the way, I kinda messed up. I mean, I'm still a watercolor noob, and I had to redo it twice. I cut out all those parts, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I also make a lot of mistakes. Okay, I definitely did a lot better than last time. Not perfect, but better. And that's what matters the most. And onto the hair. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. And next, her eyes. I love her eyes. There's like a cross inside. How to do that? By the way, currently I'm trying this new thing where I color it in very lightly. So for example, I didn't use black. I used T number six and it goes all the way to number 10. I just think like the lighter the colors, the more dreamier it looks. But you know, that's just for now. I always change techniques and try new stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to explain. For her necklace, I think I'm gonna use this pearl. It's so pretty, but it's kind of hard to see on like white paper. Yeah, you can barely see it on camera, but it's really shiny in person. I think we're done with our first drawing. I don't know. I just randomly decided to add this outline. What do you guys think? So this is our first drawing. Oh, this is actually really fun. Okay, let's move on to our next drawing. Okay, so guys, let's move on to our second character. Let me mix it really nice. Again, I have no clue what's inside. Let's see what I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna put it right here. And twist. what's inside so here we have oh she's so cute we have a pink haired girl i love her hair she has like a white strand right here she has unique shoes she is so adorable and part two again starting with paper and pencil first she actually has a lot of details like her skirt and her shirt she has glasses on i love the colors and everything so i'm going to try my best do I have any notes of her? And yes, I do. So this is Rosie. She's famous and her age is 15. She loves Japanese strawberry cake. She loves pink and shy. Okay, cute. I want to give her like a cutesy pose. I was having a little bit of trouble with the pose. So I went and took a picture of myself. <laughs> yes, I sometimes use myself as reference. So since she's 15 years old, I see her as like young and energetic and really cute. Some parts I'm not too sure of the details. Like is she wearing a belt on top of a belt? That's a very interesting skirt. So I may have like some details a little bit wrong. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is my first draft. Time to take a picture and put it into my computer. So the rough draft took me like a few hours. Today, I'm taking my time. And again, it's gonna take a while. So I'm just gonna listen to music. Making these like drawing videos are really hard because like sometimes I wanna concentrate so bad, but then it becomes a really boring video if I don't talk. I 
then I think we're good. I'm going to change the color of the line art to brown. And let's go print it out. And onto the coloring. Again, I'm going to color her skin using watercolor. So here we go. And lastly but not least, I want to color in her glasses. Hopefully I don't ruin it because this is like literally the last step. I'm going to mix some light pink with a colorless blender and make it like really 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 light. Pray for me guys! Okay, I'm just gonna go right in. Can you guys see it? It's slightly pink slightly and I'm just gonna color in the rims and I think I'm done with my second drawing so this turned into this so far so good and I think I could do one more drawing one more what do you guys think two more we'll see so so far so good I'm having a lot of fun. I'm getting to like try out new mediums, new techniques. Redrawing gacha characters is actually a really nice way to practice drawing. I highly recommend. So, so far two drawings. I think I could go for a little bit more. Maybe one more, maybe two more. Um, we'll see. By the way, this is so random. <laughs> but if you flip it over, you could get the coins from the back. I was wondering how I was going to get my coins back. So there we have some coins again. Let's pick a drawing. Oh, which one should I choose? Let's go back to this gotcha machine. And twist. Let's see what's inside. The reveal. <gasps> she is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a fun drawing. <gasps> oh no. Oh my gosh, guys. This just happened. Can you guys see this? I spilled some watercolors. No. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, maybe I could add more to make it like a background, but you know, it's just practice. I'm good. So third drawing. My table is getting a little bit dirty, but please don't mind. Artist troubles, it happens. So this is my third drawing and she looks very magical, which I love. You guys know me. So since she's very magical, I want to give her like a magical girl pose. So something like this. And I can't forget her hair accessory. Time to do the line art. Again, I'm just gonna take a picture and put it into my computer. I mean, you guys know the drill. You've been watching this video. I'm trying to find like the right angle to do the line art. It's actually really, really hard to draw on camera because the camera is right here. So I have to put my head like way away or like onto the side. So I'm trying to like find the perfect angle so I could actually see. So yeah, that's why it's kind of slanted. So since I'm very lazy, I just decided to copy and paste her eyes. And I just wanted to say, I like changing the colors of the line art. It really like changes the mood of the drawing. For this drawing, let's go with pink. Kind of like this. Maybe a little bit lighter. How does that look? Except for the face. I want to make the face a little bit light. And it looks something like this. Okay, time to go to the printer. I think this is taking the longest out of all. <gasps> oh no! I forgot her hair accessory! That's actually a really big part. I forgot her hair accessory! I'm going to quickly fix it up and come back. And I'm back. Can you guys see the difference? I mean, this is a pretty big part. I had to put it in. What color is her eyes? Hmm, I would say that's purple. Like, a few shades of purple.
And she has a start in the middle of her eyes. So a yellow in the center, and I'm just gonna draw in the star. That's actually really cute. I love this eye. It's kind of dreamy, it's definitely unique. And a little bit of highlight right here. A little on her cheeks. I think it's looking good, so now onto her hair. And now I'm going to blend in these two together. I'm going to start with pink on the top. And kind of blend it into this color. This color reminds me of chocolate and strawberry. It looks so good. And I'm currently using E70 and RVOO just for future reference. Ooh, I like how it looks like really soft and fluffy. Now with a slightly different color, I'm going to make like lines like so. So far so good. And this is completely random, but I'm going to add some pearl on top. I just think it's going to look cute. I don't know if you can see it, but the pearl adds a nice touch. And I'm done. So this is the before and this is the after. Oh wait, I want to add this one last detail. I want to add in these highlights. I mean, it's not super noticeable, but I think it makes a difference. And I'm done. So as you can see, I put in highlights in her hair. Overall, I think I really, really like this drawing. It's just so cute. And I just really love how it turned out. One thing I just noticed right now, like literally right now, I noticed that she had white tights on, but I colored it in her skin color. But other than that, I really like this drawing. So yeah, what do you guys think? Okay guys, this is probably going to be my last drawing, and let's go with this machine. I mean, there's a lot of random characters here. We'll see. Ta-da! And finally, we've got a cute rabbit. Honestly, I wanted a little bit more diversity, but I mean, what's the point of the gacha machines if I discard this and like keep on doing it until I'm satisfied with the characters? This is the point of the video to be completely random, but hopefully we'll get it next time. Today, I'm going to go with this bunny. Okay, last one guys. I feel like I'm learning something new today. So I wanna try one more drawing and we've got this bunny. Oh no, she's holding a bat. <laughs> she's a yandere probably. So I wanna draw her holding the bat like this. Can you kind of get the picture? Ooh, I like her expression here. Okay, not bad. Moving on. I'm currently looking at hairs for reference. Hmm. Let me redo this section. For this drawing, I think I'm going to use purple for the line art. I think it's going to match her really well. And even her fishnet. And it looks something like this. Save, save. So important to save. This is kind of random, but I also want to show you guys what else I had in here. I've got so many great characters, so thank you guys so much for sending me your OCs. It means so much. And it's really fun looking at all these different characters. So let's see what else I had. For example, here we have, ooh, she's pretty. So she's very, very unique and I love her hair. And she's holding a cupcake. That would have been really, really cute. Next. Here we have a boy. And we have a cat boy. I wonder if that's a tattoo or his mole. It's another cat. It would have been really fun to draw these two together. Let's open this one together. 
Aww, so adorable. Last one. And it's a girl. Ooh, she has glasses on. She's really adorable, but has like fishnets and stuff and has that edgy look. I would have loved to draw her. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to put back all these drawings back into the gacha machines. So hopefully next time I could draw them. I don't know when I'm going to do this again, so I can't promise, but hopefully in the near future. Okay, let's go back to the drawing. And it looks something like this. So guys, last drawing, here we go. I know like I'm almost done, but I'm not like quite there yet because I don't have the small designs. You know, like there's like a pocket right here. There's like hearts here and there. And I might just use paint for that. You'll see what I'm talking about. So four drawings in total, and that was a lot. I had so much fun, but it was a lot. Which one do you guys like the most? I think I have to go with this one or this one. Sometimes I think art is magic. Like I literally started with nothing on the paper. It was just like a white piece of paper. And now I have four cute characters. So yeah guys, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys liked it, please give me a thumbs up and a comment below. If you guys like it, I might do it again. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!